Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nina. I love all things interior and exterior style. So interior like your home decor and exterior like your style. If you're new here and you like the content, you like what you're seeing, it would mean so much to me if you subscribed. I'm on my way to 40K and I would love it if you helped me in that journey of getting there. Also, if you are fam bam, you've been here for a while, I would love if you hit the like button. Also for new people as well that are here, if you hit that like button, it helps my channel so much. So I'll jump right into the video. So I've been looking at mango shoes for a very long time and I've been wondering what the fit and feel is like. I've bought other things from there, but not necessarily shoes. And I really, really wanted some genuine leather sandals. All the sandals I've been buying are not genuine leather, like the ones from ASOS. So I wanted some that were leather that I could wear season after season. I won't have to replenish or purchase again. So I got some classic sandals in genuine leather and I want to show you them. I have this massive box down here that I'm trying to like, I'm going to be bending down and picking up. So the first pair that I got is not genuine leather. However, I really love the braided sandals that I got from H&M, but H&M only had the black and then they had like a yellow color. Why they had yellow, I don't know. They just did tan or camel, which is a classic shoe com color combination black and brown we all know that don't know why they didn't do it but i found these at mango and they were actually the perfect color so this is the color camel that i was looking for in these braided sandals so i pulled the trigger and i was like yes let me just get them be done with it now the only thing that i don't like first of all they're so cute i love how they look however the inside of the sandal has this threading that is very uncomfortable up against the toes so the top part where your toes would be underneath, that part is really, really uncomfortable. And I was so, so annoyed that they made it like that because the H&M ones were just full padding. Like what was on the top was underneath. So the whole thing was just really comfortable for your feet. But I don't know. I have to find a way to combat them because I love them. This is the perfect color. It's exactly what I wanted. So yeah. And I'm trying them on again here just to like give myself yeah I love them I'm gonna keep them actually I figured out once I push my foot into it a little bit more it's not exactly at the top of my toes it's more so at the base of my toes where they start but I do like them a lot so they're probably gonna be kept then I really wanted some thong style slides I didn't I was trying to find some at ASOS when I was buying all the ones that I bought there but I really wanted some genuine leather ones because I feel like thong sandals are just classic and they'll be in for pretty much ever, like they're timeless. So I wanted to get a pair of genuine leather ones that I could wear season after season. I wouldn't have to be replacing them over and over. Secondarily, I wanted to get the perfect shade of brown. This, so cute. Love this color. It's almost like a cognac kind of color. Really, really love this genuine leather cute on and it's comfortable i really start looking for padding these days when it comes to sandals because i'm all about the comfort not just on the bottom and how it feels when you're walking in it but like how the top is i try to avoid anything that's abrasive that rubs against your skin because that stuff scars on your feet especially when women of color like it's very unforgiving the scars that are on our feet from shoes that we wear so i try to always get shoes with a lot of padding on the top and then are also comfortable to walk in. Next, I got a pair of black leather sandals. So I really wanted some black leather strappy sandals. Now I ended up getting some from, where was it? I got some from H&M. They're really cute. They have the same similar style where it has like black straps, a very minimal going across the top and then across around the ankle. And I really wanted these because these are genuine leather. The ones that I got at H&M were not genuine leather. So even though I love them, I am aware that I'm probably only going to get a few seasons out of them. So I wanted to go ahead and get some genuine leather joints. However, these are not comfortable at all. Like, they're just not comfortable. I don't know. I got a size, I got a size 39, which is a US 8. I didn't want to size up just because... A lot of times the straps can be too big, but let me just, okay, wait a minute. When I first tried these on, they were super uncomfortable. I was like, nope, going back. I'd already marked them off on the little receipt to return it. But now that I'm doing this now, it's actually kind of comfy. 
Like, I'm not mad at it. But I'm probably not going to keep it because I found some way cuter. Oh my god, I found the cutest pair from Zara. But they are so, so cute. Like, I'm completely obsessed with them. I bought them in two colors. The perfect strappy sandals, exactly what I was looking for. Genuine leather, and they're comfortable. So I'll probably keep those. Definitely returning these. I'm really surprised at how easy these are to slide on and off. But I'm just not in love. Like, at this point, when I'm buying stuff, I need to be in love. They can't just sit in my apartment like all of my other clothes. I have to be in love. So they're probably going to go back. And then, of course, because I was getting those, I was like, if I love them, I'd rather have two colors than one. So I got it in the cognac color as well. And I have to say, they also are going back. <laughs> um, it's just not very flattering on. It just looks like a standard, just basic, plain, like, I don't know, mule style heel, kitten style heel and sandal combination. Like, it just wasn't sexy. I feel like if I'm going to do a lower heel, I wanted to have some mm, with it. You know what I mean? Like, just a little bit of sex appeal. Slightly. I'm already wearing a low heel, so I want to still feel sexy in that low heel um they're not terrible but i have to be in love again when it comes to shoes but these were yo these weren't even 55.99 oh my goodness these weren't even 55.99 these were full price these were 79.99 so they're definitely going back and then i know forgive me but i did get this I got these in the white as well because I don't have any white or cream sandals and I wanted to kind of dabble in them like I was really interested in getting a pair. So I figured I could start with Mango just because I love how classic and sleek a lot of their um, sandals are or they look. So I got these but again they're the exact same as the brown and the black so naturally not loving the black that love I mean that lack of love kind of just leaked over into these and I wasn't really in love with these I was kind of like eh, okay you know just didn't make me feel like I had to have them so these are going back to so me from the future here I just realized I need to add all of the shoes that I have been buying and I'm currently wearing that are now on sale end of the summer sales are all over the place but most of the stores aren't really advertising it so unless you go to their websites or their physical stores you won't even know that these items are on sale so i'm going to include these in the video as well i'll show you these first because this was in the um, intro to the video these are the zara shoes that i'm going to be talking about in this video immensely just because of how sexy they are just super cute for it to be a three inch heel these are like so sexy normally when you go lower in your heels it's hard to get that perfect arch but somehow zara was able to nail it with this i love love these initially i wasn't sure if i'd love the color because i thought it was like an orange type of color but it's more of like a burnt orange closer to a tan or camel kind of color i should say cognac so I really, really love these. I got them in two colors and I'm really glad that I did because I love the fit and feel of it. It's genuine leather, so it's going to last me into the next season after season. Here they are in black. Same shoe, same concept, just a different color. I absolutely love these. I can't say that enough. Like, very understated, sexy, low heel, very comfortable. Genuine leather, simple, straight to the point, very understated. I love these heels so much. Now, I have been looking for some plain white leather sneakers for so long, and I've seen a lot of the, I think they're called the Vela trainers online, like the white sneaker with the V. And every time I looked at the reviews for those, people said how uncomfortable they were. The leather part right here is so sharply cut that it cuts into their ankle part here. I cannot with uncomfortable sneakers. Like if I'm gonna be wearing sneakers and they're flats, there's something I wanna be able to walk the distance in, they have to be comfortable. I was at the Nike outlet with my family a few weeks ago and I saw these for $44 leather, full leather shoe for $44. Mind you, the Velas are like, I think 150 or 200 or something like that, 150 or 170, I can't remember. But for genuine, for full leather and the Velas are, Full disclaimer, they're also leather, but this, and everybody knows a Nike can last as long as you want it to, depending on how you care for it. $44, I bought two, not even playing, because when the color starts to get crazy and I can't care for it, I need to transition into another pair. 
So I got two of these. Um, I don't know if it's available online anymore. I will put a link to it just in case it comes back in stock. But if you have a Nike outlet in your town, they have this one for either 44 or 54. Because when I went back and bought the second pair, I think it was back up to 54. But either way, this is a great price point for a genuine leather shoe, like a full leather shoe like this. Plain, no colors, no nothing. I just love these shoes so much. And last but not least, I got these Nike D-Brakes. I am obsessed with these shoes. I had just seen them on Urban Outfitters for $90. Could not believe I found these on the Nike website for like $54. I was obsessed. I love the contrast of the colors, the textures, the peanut butter bottoms, the suede, the canvas here, and then the leather. This is just such a beautiful mix of textures. I love this shoe so much. I thought it was like the cutest thing ever. And as soon as it came, I was like, man, I should order another pair. I probably will because it's still in stock online and I will link that below for you all to snag a pair too. But I just always get shoes like these in twos because when they go out of stock, they usually never come back in and then you have to buy them higher from a reseller. So for 50 bucks, I feel like I'm going to order another pair because it just looks so beautiful in person. I'm obsessed with these. And does anyone else struggle with trying to find like the perfect white sneaker or just the perfect sneaker that you can wear with multiple things and you know, dress it up as well as wear it casually? Let me know below. Okay, so that's it. I wanted to show you the styles in case any of you were debating getting any genuine leather shoes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which ones were your favorite. Which ones would you keep? Which ones would you send back? See you next time.